2018 Volkswagen are he in making amends for bad behavior, Volkswagen tries truth and beauty. Fanatically, Volkswagen's new flagship is Arteon. Philosophically, it's ART plus three letters tagging along for the ride. Think of it as the RD1 and you'll mispronounce it but nail the idea. Does the market crazy for crossovers and pickups need a high-style hatchback sedan on a rescue mission? No, but this Passat Plus Stormtrooper should be an effective means of shifting the brand from defense to offense. Even though the camouflage won't be stripped off until next spring's Geneva Auto Show, RT and prototypes we drove in South Africa convince us that VW is resuming a fruitful path, peering beneath the surface. X-raying the thin layer of disguise, we saw automotive beauty in the flesh. A low hood sweeps the full width of the front tires. At the front, six horizontal blades in the grill and wraparound headlamps further accent the RT in width while five longitudinal creases per side draw the eye rearward over sculpted vertical surfaces and the low greenhouse. Frameless door glass, muscle tonches, a spoiler neatly blended into the hatch's trailing edge, and sequential rear turn signals make the RTN the sexiest people's car since the Carmen Gaia. Previewing its arrival, VW teased us with a sports coupe concept to supersede the CC, nay Passat CC, at the 2015 Geneva Motor Show, which, like the CC, had four doors in contravention of the coupe nomenclature. Without trapsing heavily on Audi A5 and A7 turf, designers have towed the line between beauty and functionality to sculpt this affordable Grand Tourer, which we're guessing will have a bass price around $36,000. Likely foes include the Buick Law Cross, the Nissan Maxima, and the Toyota Avalon. Let's hope that hatchback haters try the RTN's back seat, where we found near limo grade space for three adults. Before turning attention in the traditional sedan direction, skeptics also need to consider the 60 cubic feet of cargo space available when the split rear backrests are folded. Impeccable driving manners like everything in VW showrooms between Golf and Passat, the RTN shares the MQB transverse powertrain components set. That's no bad thing because an intense focus on one basic chassis moves the needle another notch toward perfection with every iteration. Rough South African roads didn't quiver the body structure in the prototypes we drove, and suspension calibrations capably eased longitudinal impact pain without wilting under substantial cornering loads. Thanks to the calming effect of the RTN's electrically assisted power steering, rippled gravel surfaces severe enough to skate this sedan wide and turns never shot up the steering column to inflict wheel kick, runs over 100 miles per hour on paved roads revealed directional stability as straight and taut as a banjo string. Turn in was crisp and confident. While one Euro spec RTN we drove on this coarse textured pavement showed annoying tar tread buzz and interior boom. That behavior largely disappeared when we switched into the U.S. Market Edition equipped with all-season Continental 245-45R18 radials. Electronically variable dampers, what VW calls dynamic chassis control, can be switched through comfort, normal, sport, and individual modes. While calibrations aren't finalized and there's no guarantee these dampers will even be available on U.S. Spec RT Uns, our past experience with this Tenneco supply technology has been so positive that we consider it essential gear for driving enthusiasts. Given VW's lead in the global rush to small hard-working engines, it's no surprise that the RTN's initial power source will be a TSI 2.0-liter four-cylinder turbocharged to produce about 270 horsepower. Customer feedback from today's dual-clutch automatic-equipped VW CC says that such transmissions lack the expected roll-off smoothness. For that reason, the RTN's trusty TSI engine will be teamed solely with an 8-speed toward converter automatic supplied by I. That gearbox behaved impeccably in Africa. In lieu of a manual alternative, last available in the 2016 CC, we at least get steering wheel paddles, a console shifter offering a manual mode, and a gear indicator in the instrument cluster. Try it as we might. We discovered no way to avoid automatic upshifts when the tachometer needle swung past 6,200 or so RPM during our test drives. 
and side impressions what we could see of the camouflaged interior trim was encouraging. Wood accents are a genuine tree material, but they look the part. Stitching appears on the two-tone, leather-trimmed seats but not across dashtop surfaces. The front pocket bolsters are firm enough to hold well-nourished occupants in place during aggressive maneuvers. There's a centrally located 9.2-inch touchscreen program to respond to voice commands, a few hand gestures, and two ordinary knobs. A wealth of contemporary driver aids and convenience features, park assist, adaptive cruise control, lane keeping, Android Auto, and Apple CarPlay, will grace this cockpit. The double-length stacking sunroof we noticed in Africa should be on the US options list. What you probably won't find is a switch to fully disable stability control. The RTN casts a shadow about the same size as the Passat's, so we're expecting it to weigh about 3,400 pounds. The acceleration and passing enthusiasm we saw across the South African plane was adequate, but, as usual, we'd take more verve. Sharing that opinion with the VW engineers lit them up. One advised that this iteration of MQB is not only compatible with V6 engines, one such car in the African test fleet had already topped 300 km per hour, 186 miles per hour. While we were tempted to pummel this fellow about the head and shoulders for not including that RTN on our drive, we restrained ourselves in the interests of decorum. U.S. Spec RTN speed limiters will cap the fun at 155 miles per hour, all that stopping VW from eventually adding a V6 and a discrete GT badge or RS label is a business case, and, possibly, a haul pass from Audi, which might not want a budget alternative to its S5. Now that Ford's Fusion Sport has cracked the 300 horsepower barrier in the family sedan category, we believe VW customers deserve all the German engineering they can get in the brand's most elegant model. Update: Due to a miscommunication at the launch event, we previously reported that the 2018 RTN will have a 6-speed automatic transmission. In fact, it will be an 8-speed. We have adjusted the story and specifications panel accordingly.